Welcome to myacademy.com. I'm Professor Mahfouz Hussain from Pakistan. This is a platform for Talmic teaching. In this video, VHB Video Handbook, Chapter 9, Section 2, we are going to discuss the cataract management and its basic concepts. Cataract management. Cataract Either you don't manage it or you don't do anything and you just observe it because it's very immature and not causing any problem to the patient. Medical management, there is no medical management of the cataract so far. So let's come to the surgical management, which is the main management for the cataract. What are the indications for the surgery? The main indication for the surgery is visual improvement and this is almost always the reason. The other reason is sometime your eye doctor cannot see the back of the eye and wants to know what's going on there, like in patients who are diabetic or some other eye problem. So doctor advises you to have the cataract done. And very rarely we do it for the cosmetic reason because the white cataract doesn't look cosmetically good, though the patients don't have any vision. The preoperative evaluation, ocular evaluation, we check the anterior and posterior segment of the eye to see whether the patient has got any other disease or not. And we do the test to exclude any other possible pathology if the doctor is suspecting it. Then you see the lacrimal sac and the lid hygiene so that the patient don't get infection after the operation. Then you do the biometry, which is the axial length and the corneal curvature to calculate the implant power, which we are going to put in the eye. The general evaluation is like for the blood pressure and sugar, hepatitis B and C status for the screening, and anesthesia evaluation if you're doing the cataract under general anesthesia, which is not very common nowadays. Now, very important slide, the surgical anatomy. You have to remember, this is the capsule. This part of the capsule is called anterior capsule, and this part of the capsule is called posterior capsule though it's one continuous capsule and inside the capsule is the nucleus. So remember it always anterior capsule and posterior capsule. Let's go to the next slide. We take off the anterior capsule, then we remove the cataract and put the implant in. The implant rests on the posterior capsule. If you don't have the posterior capsule, the lens is going to drop down. So the posterior capsule is very crucial for the implant. Now, there are two types of cataract extractions, extracapsular extraction and intracapsular extraction. In the extracapsular type of extraction, there are four types, lens aspiration, phaco emulsification or phaco, smacky or tunnel type of cataract extraction, and echi or extracapsular cataract extraction. In the intracapsular type of extractions, there is intracapsular cataract extraction and lensectomy. Now remember, we have used it twice, extracapsular extraction and extracapsular cataract extraction. Extracapsular cataract extraction is a type of extracapsular extraction. So when you use the word extracapsular extraction, it could be one of these four. When you use the term intracapsular extraction, it could be one of those. So this is a bit confusing because extracapsular cataract extraction is a type of extracapsular extraction and intracapsular cataract extraction is a type of intracapsular extraction. Let's go to the next slide. Now look at the top one, this cataract, we are going to take the capsule off. Look at that again. And the lens is coming out, but the posterior capsule is still there and the lens will rest, the implant will rest on the posterior capsule. In this example, the whole lens along with the anterior and posterior capsule is coming out. So this is intracapsular cataract extraction. So remember, extracapsular is without capsule, leaving the posterior capsule, while the intracapsular is leaving no capsule behind. Remember that 
Intracapsular is not in practice anymore. We very rarely do it as a lensectomy. It's only for the subluxated lenses. You either don't put the lens in or you put the lens in front of the iris, which may cause the damage to the cornea. I repeat it, extracapsular means extracapsular or without capsular type of cataract extraction, and this includes lens aspiration, phaco emulsification, sutureless manual extracapsular cataract extraction, and extracapsular cataract extraction. This is a bit confusing. The whole group is called extracapsular extraction, while one part of it is called extracapsular cataract extraction. Now, there are other steps of the cataract extraction, but there are nine basic steps of cataract extraction. They are incision, viscoelastic injection, capsulotomy, hydrodissection, lens extraction, irrigation aspiration, viscoelastic injection, implant, and wound closer. So let's see them in a bit more detail. Viscoelastic is when you go inside the eye, the aqueous of the eye comes out and the eye deflates. So the viscoelastic you always put to keep the eye formed or to inflame it. Capsulotomy is to make a hole in the capsule like this one so that the lens can come out. Hydrodissection is you hydrodissect it so that the lens separates from the capsule. Lens extraction is removing the lens or the nucleus. Irrigation aspiration is removing the cortex. You put again the viscoelastic to form the eye and then you put the implant and you either close the wound or don't close the wound. We'll see them in more detail in the next slide. Let's see the steps in a bit more detail. Look at the first step, incision. It is two to three millimeter in the first two in, in the lens aspiration and phaco, while it is six to seven millimeter in the smacky and aki. Then the capsulotomy, you can do any type of capsulotomy in all these surgeries depending on your experience, but the best one is CCC because the implant then goes inside the capsule and there are less chances of dislocation or subluxation. Then is the lens extraction. In the lens aspiration, no nucleus is developed, so there's no lens extraction. In the FACO, you divide it into small pieces and the machine takes them out while in this Mackey and Aki, the whole lens nucleus comes out. Then step nine, which is the wound closure. No wound closure in the first three type of surgeries, while in the Aki, you have to put three to five stitches according to the wound. So rest of the steps, like a visco injection, hydrodissection, cortical removal, visco injection and implant are same in all types of the surgeries. In the next video, VHB 9.3, we will discuss them in more detail. Thank you very much for being with me and please do give your feedback. Thank you.